Is it the right time to buy or sell Disney stock? In this video, we'll be delving deep into Disney. We initially published a report on our website on Monday, February 5, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest analysis. You wouldn't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 18, 2024, our system has identified Disney as a buy candidate with a score of 1.29. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. Incredibly, the stock has gained 4.82% since then. This means it has been generating an average return of 0.37% per day since it was labeled as a buy candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a rising trend in the short term, but it is important to note that this trend is weak and wide. For short-term traders, this presents a potential selling opportunity as we can expect a reaction that may push the stock back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock manages to break through the top trend line at $97.83, this would indicate a stronger rate of rising. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential 4.41% change expected over the next three months. This means that the stock may have a return ranging from minus 4.76% to 5.69%. The 12-month trend suggests a minus 11.19% change over the next year, with a potential return ranging from minus 30.90% to minus 10.64%. This translates to a price range of $66.79 to $86.36 after a year. Our latest update on Disney stock brings a significant headline, Disney stock upgraded from hold slash accumulate to buy candidate after Monday trading session. On the last day of trading, which was Monday, February 5, 2024, the Disney stock price experienced a decrease of minus 0.494%, dropping from $97.13 to $96.65. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated between a low of $96.49 and a high of $97.37, with a 0.91% range. Over the past two weeks, the stock has shown a 1.65% gain, but it has been continuously fluctuating within that period. Interestingly, the trading volume increased by 4 million shares on the last day, despite the falling prices. This may indicate an early warning, suggesting a slightly increased risk in the coming days. In terms of volume, approximately 12 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to around $1.12 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price the Disney stock reached was $118.18, whereas the lowest price was $78.73. Presently, the stock price is 18.22% below the 52-week high, which is equivalent to a difference of $21.53. Additionally, it is 52.39% below the all-time high, which occurred on the 8th of March 2021, when the stock price reached $203.02. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, November 9, 2023, Morgan Stanley gave Disney, DS, an overweight, grade with a, hold, action. Benchmark also reported on Thursday, November 9, 2023, giving Disney, DS, a buy grade with a hold action. Credit Suisse provided its rating on Wednesday, November 8, 2023, grading Disney, DS, as outperform with a hold action. Another rating on Wednesday, November 8, 2023, came from Seaport Global, which gave Disney, DIS, a buy grade with an initialize action. On Thursday, October 19, 2023, Needham rated Disney, DS, as hold with a hold action. Analysts have given Disney stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as buy and the price to book as buy. As for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. 
Here are the signals for Disney stock. The short-term moving average suggests selling, while the long-term average indicates buying. Since the short-term average is higher than the long-term average, there is an overall buy signal for the stock. If the stock gains further, it may face resistance around $96.67 from the short-term moving average. On the other hand, if the stock falls, it may find support around $92.78 from the long-term average. Breaking above the short-term average will trigger a buy signal, while breaking below the long-term average will indicate a sell signal. Additionally, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also shows a buy signal. However, there have been some negative signals recently, which may have an impact on the short-term performance. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, January 29, 2024, and the stock has fallen by minus 0.86% since then. Further decline is expected until a new bottom pivot is identified. Yesterday, volume increased as prices fell, which could be an early warning sign that warrants closer monitoring of the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. One signal to consider is the moving average convergence divergence, which indicates a buy signal. Another signal to look at is pivots, which gave a sell signal six days ago. Bollinger is another indicator that suggests a buy signal five days ago. The short-term moving average shows a sell signal two days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average gives a buy signal 16 days ago. Additionally, the relation between the short and long moving averages indicates a buy signal 12 days ago. Now, let's shift our attention to the 12-month chart. The short moving average shows a buy signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average also indicates a buy signal 60 days ago. Furthermore, the relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 54 days ago. Don't forget to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Disney Disney has found support from accumulated volume at $93.93. This level presents a potential buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be anticipated when the support is tested. The stock exhibits average daily movements and with good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. In the previous day, the stock fluctuated $0.88 cents between its highest and lowest points, equivalent to 0.91%. Throughout the past week, the stock has displayed a daily average volatility of 1.62%. Before we discuss the potential good trading levels for Disney, let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio is a crucial measure of a company's current share price compared to its per-share earnings. A high P-E ratio could indicate that the stock is overvalued or that investors have high expectations for future growth. Moving on, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is expected on February 14, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report are at $1.07. It's important to keep an eye on these numbers as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, let's analyze some potential day trading levels for Disney. If we observe an upward trend, the first resistance level for Disney stands at $96.94. If you currently don't own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. However, for those who already have a stake in the stock, this could be an ideal level for swing trading. Now, let's shift our focus to the downside. In the event of a decline, Disney encounters its first support level at $93.93. If this level holds as support, it could provide a favorable entry point, with the anticipation of a rebound. The collective average rating for Disney, according to multiple analyst sources, is buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On February 5, 2024, James P. Gorman made an insider purchase of zero shares. On January 17, 2024, Sonia L. Coleman conducted an insider sale of 1,154 shares of restricted stock unit. On January 17, 2024, Sonia L. Coleman conducted an insider purchase of 1,154 shares of Disney Common Stock. On January 17, 2024, 
Sonia L. Coleman conducted an insider sale of 474 shares of Disney Common Stock. On January 17, 2024, Brent Woodford made an insider purchase of 1,178 shares of Disney Common Stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be positive with a ratio of 73.191. Overall, insiders have purchased 875,317 shares and sold 134,648 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $93.71, which represents a decrease of 3.04%. This stock exhibits medium daily movements, indicating a moderate level of risk. Additionally, we have identified a sell signal from a pivot top that occurred five days ago. Is Disney stock a good buy? Based on our analysis, we believe Disney stock presents a potential buying opportunity in the short term. Several positive signals and a favorable overall trend support this conclusion. We have upgraded our assessment from a hold slash accumulate to a buy candidate. Upon analyzing the recent volatility and movements, our systems indicate that the current price of Disney stock is undervalued. Looking ahead to Tuesday, February 6, we anticipate Disney to open up $0.187 and commence trading at $96.84. Before we begin, it is important to remember that trading carries a high risk of financial loss. We strongly advise you to consult a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to our analysis of the current stock market. We value your opinion, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. What price do you think this stock will reach? Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated. We hope you have a successful trading experience and a wonderful day, from all of us here at Stock Invest.